achieve this effect, you require no third-party plugins, so let's see how to make it. First we need a background, and you can use any background. Then a background music. You can use your own music. We need this expressions. And last the particles. I'll put everything under the description. And this video is sponsored by Wondershare Demo Creator. In the software, you'll get two features, recording and video editor. You can record full screen or set a custom size. Also you can recording with microphone and webcam, and you can turn on or off the system sound. In the video editor, you can import your footages. And this is video timeline. Here you'll get some title templates. And it's very easy to customize. Here you'll get some dialog box. Next you'll get some animation, background and more. And you'll get some cool transitions. Green screen feature is also available. Easily you can make a cinematic bar. Last one is mouse cursor effect. If you want to make a tutorial, and do some simple edits within one tool, just try Demo Creator. And you can download the software, under the description link. So now let's open After Effects. First let's create a new comp. And let's call it, Circular Visualizer. Then with 1920, and height 1080, frame rate 30, and duration I'm using 20 seconds, cause my music is 20 seconds. So it's depend on your background music duration. Then hit OK. Now I'm gonna import background, music, and particles. Then drag the background layer to the comp, and put the scale up a bit. Press S to open scale. Again press P to open position. Hold on Alt key. Then click the stopwatch icon. Here put an expression. Wiggle. 1.5, comma 20. Now as you can see, it's shaking the footage. Now drag the music above the background. Now make a solid. Let's call it audio. And make sure it's black and fit to comp. Then hit OK. Now select the ellipse tool. Create a perfect circle at the center. So click and drag. Then hold Ctrl plus Shift. And set the mask 1 add to none. Now add the audio spectrum and audio layer. Under the effect controls, choose audio layer to music. Path none to mask one. End frequency 1400. Frequency bands 800. Maximum height 600. Thickness 5. Softness 10%. Inside and outside color white. And choose slide option, side B. Click here to hide this path. Then it'll look like this. Now duplicate the audio layer. Select the bottom audio layer. Then add another effect, CC Radio Blur. Then decrease the frequency bands 100. Increase the thickness 10. Then under the CC Radio Blur, choose Type Scratch to Fading Zoom. The set the amount 100. Now select the top audio layer. And duplicate it. Then click S to open scale. Then scale up a little bit, 102. Increase the maximum height 1000. Then decrease the thickness 3. 
then choose display options digital to analog lines. Again duplicate the top audio layer. Then set the audio offset 150 and increase the maximum height 3000. Again duplicate the top audio layer and set audio offset minus 50. Decrease the maximum height 1000. Duplicate the top audio layer one more time and delete the audio spectrum and scale it down to 100%. Now I'm gonna add stroke effect. Then make the brush size 10. Then click here to show path. And click on toggle switches modes to show the blend mode. Then choose the blend mode, normal to screen. And click M to open mask. Then select the mask one. And double click on the mask path. Now hold Ctrl plus shift. Then drag it down a little bit. Let's duplicate the mask one by pressing Ctrl plus D. Now I'm gonna add another stroke effect and change the stroke to path, mask 1 to mask 2. Then set the brush size 2. Again select the mask 2. And double click on the path. Hold Ctrl plus Shift. And drag it down a little bit. I think, it's too much thin. Let's increase the brush size 3. Now move the time indicator, to the first frame. Then under the stroke effect 1. Click on the start stopwatch icon, then make it 100%. And going back to the last keyframe, then make it 0. Let's hide the path. So as you can see, it's animate the middle stroke. Let's make a new text layer. Now I'm gonna copy the time code expressions. Then click on the text layer drop down icon. Again click here. Then hold on Alt key. And click source text stopwatch icon. Then paste the expression here. So it'll make a timer. Which is exactly matched with your timeline of your project. Now let's change the timer color. Add a fill effect. Then change the color red to white. Now click here and select the title action safe. So it will be easier to put the timer in the center. Let's rename it to time. Now I'm gonna pre-comp all the layers without the background. So right click and select pre-comp. Let's call it visualizer. Then hit enter. Then set the visualizer blend mode normal to screen. Then right click on Visualizer, Keyframe Assistant, and select Convert Audio to Keyframe. Now select the Audio Amplitude layer, and delete these, left and right channels. Now let's make a new Null object, and put it above the Visualizer. Let's call it Scale. Then add an effect on it, Slider Control. Now select the visualizer, click S to open scale, then hold on Alt key, and click on the stopwatch icon, again select the scale, and pick it with the slider, like this. Our visualizer gone, so we need to make slider control 100. Now let's copy our second expressions. Then select scale. Go to the effects control. Hold on alt key and click on the slider stopwatch icon. Then paste the expression here. Now as you can see here, our visualizer scaling with the music beat. Now make a new solid. Let's call it Lens Flare. 
add a lens flare effect on it. Then add tin effect. And add fast blur two times. Select the first blur, change it to horizontal. And make sure repeat edge pixels selected. Then increase the horizontal blur, something like that. And increase the horizontal and vertical blur, around 60. Then select the lens flare, and put it at the bottom. Let's increase the horizontal blur, around 800. And horizontal and vertical blur around 150. Now change the blending mode to add. Now add curves, to make a certain color. Let's reduce the red, for blue tone. And this is totally upon you, how you wanna give this color. Okay, it looks good to me. Then select the scale layer, double click on E. And copy this expressions. Now select the lens flare. And hold on ALT key, then click on flare brightness stopwatch icon. Paste the expressions here. Now let's make some change. Just change this value to 0. And make it X by 2. So it's done here. So as you can see it's reacting with the music. Let's duplicate the lens flare. Select the lens flare. And move it at the top. Let's reset the curves. Let's make it something orange. Okay, it looks pretty. So our lens flare is working fine. Now let's add the particle. Right click on particle. Then transform. And fit to comp. Again copy the lens flare expressions. Then select the particles. And click on T to open opacity. Then hold ALT key, and click the stopwatch icon. And paste the expression here. And this time change this value to 15. And change the blending mode normal to screen. So that's it. So we are almost done. Our last step is, how to colorize the visualizer. So select the visualizer and add the 4 color gradient on it. Change the blending mode normal to overlay. Let's duplicate it 2 times, for more vibrant. Our last effect is motion blur. And put above the color gradients. Make the blur samples 30. And remember, it will increase your render time. So if you really want it, then use it, else don't use it. So let's remove the motion blur, and see the final preview. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, please feel free and tell me in the comment section below. And if you like it, please give a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.